Honest question. Why are beards so prevalent in Orthodox clergy? Thank you, Caleb. Caleb is an interesting name. Um, they're they're uh, a given from the church going back thousands of years uh, because that's that's the culture and the life of the people of, in the Old Testament and in the ancient world was that men had beards and it was seen uh, as effeminate and as problematic really uh, to shave your beard to be to be to look more like a woman. It was not not seen as something uh, blessed. In fact, there's, there's references, I think, in Scripture. The Saint Nicodemus the Agorite has written about this as well in his writings, saying that it's a shame for a man to shave. In fact, a priest who would who would be punished uh, once upon a time would have his beard shaved, and that would be his humiliation for whatever he had done that was, uh, you know, uh, unacceptable for a priest to do. So it's just a given going back, and nobody even questions or talks about it in the old country. Um, and of course, there are people who don't have, like myself, I don't have a big beard. I don't, it, not God has not given every human being to have a bushy beard. It doesn't really matter, however. And, and, and in fact, that indifference is a good thing. Like we shouldn't care much about our appearance, right? We shouldn't care much about uh, things like this. So the beard is also a way just to say, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not going to look myself in the mirror. I'm not going to spend time doing that. It's not a spiritual event. It's a waste of my time. Uh, so there's also that basic ascetic uh, stance of, of each Christian that we're not going to spend time uh, uh, vainly, uh, you know, beautifying ourselves as if we're not God created something that's not beautiful. So I think that's two basic reasons why. Uh, also, uh, uh, the ascetics who live in the in the desert and and elsewhere, they didn't obviously carry around razors with them. They're not going to sit and shave, and so they became ideals and models for clergy in the world. And so, and I think there's also part of it is that they're imitating the ascetics in the sense that that's something that's kind of worldly. Uh, and uh, and and how about this one? Our Lord had a beard. We want to be as much like our Lord as possible. Of course, the externals are not are not really that important. But it, it, I think that 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 he had long hair and a beard is not an insignificant thing. Nothing's insignificant when it comes to our Lord. Um, so uh, it is it is interesting. If you go further back in church history, you'll see that even in the West, even the popes had beards in the early church in the ancient church. The icons we have of the popes have beards. Only after the schism they start shaving. That's my understanding anyway. I might be wrong about that. That's my understanding.